I reread the the bundling uh, policy again just to make sure I knew and understood it well. And one thing that is not clear in there is that it uh, it doesn't have any clarification about if the products in your bundle are all generic. It almost makes it sound like you can't make a bundle if all the products are generic in the product. Uh, yeah, it does. It does specify that you can't bundle generic products. So even if everything's generic, but then I guess you could create your own product with a brand, right? And bundle those generic products with you. Uh, well, so no, no item within a bundle is supposed to be generic because Amazon's concern is that it could confuse customers into thinking that those generic product products were part of whatever the brand yeah. was. So what really concerns me with that is like they're they're totally kind of taking away the whole like gift basket industry, essentially. Uh, well, so a gift basket isn't necessarily a bundle. Well, wouldn't they wouldn't they consider it a bundle because you might have like sausages from different brands and crackers and chips and dip and stuff and they're all different brands and you're going to lift it under you know Todd's gifts or whatever and so well so that's if if they're under different brands if you're bundling a bunch of items together and then so for a gift basket generally gift baskets don't have branded items and then generally gift, gift baskets, baskets are branded under whatever the basket brand is and then the rest of the items are generic um, or branded under that initial brand. So so the, the gift baskets are treated slightly differently because bundled items are, are generally considered items that, that are sold separately as well as within the bundle, whereas a gift, gift basket, a lot of times those items aren't sold individually. They're only sold in the gift basket. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that would make sense. Um, but you know, like I've bought gift baskets for people and they'll have like, you know, branded sausages and crackers and cheese and all those things put together. Um, but then, you know, it's selling under the, the brand of whoever made the gift basket. Um, so essentially, though, that that would be a violation of the the bundling policy if Amazon came across that. Potentially, if 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 the brand of the gift basket has an item of under its own brand of greater value than the items within the gift basket, yeah. then that would be totally fine. Um, but again, you would want to have letters of authorization from all of the brands that are within the basket. Yeah. 